The polygon hotspot is an area of interaction. You can draw the hotspot to cover any part of the panorama and make it interactive. They can be used to link panoramas together and to open URLs. So let's see how they're added to a project. In the viewer, select its mode from the modes palette or hit O on the keyboard. Then double click in the viewer. This adds the first point of the polygon, and then move the mouse and click again to add the next point, and keep going until you get the shape you need, adding as many handles as you need. Then double click to close the shape. If you need to add a handle after you've closed the shape, just click on the edge. You can also move the handles to adjust the shape, and if you need to remove a handle, just right click it. And to delete the hotspot, make sure it's red or activated, and then hit the delete key. To bring it back, use undo or open the history. There are two types of polygon hotspots, URL and Tor node. Use a URL polygon hotspot to link to a website, and the Tor type to link to nodes in a Pano 2 VR Pro project. This hotspot will link to a website, so I'll select URL for the type, and then I'll add a title so that there's a tooltip when the mouse hovers over the hotspot. I'll add a web page for the link target URL, and for the target, I'll choose underscore blank, which will open the page in a new tab or window. Now I'll make another hotspot, and this one will link to a node. So I'll drag in the node it should link to, and Pen2VR will apply everything else automatically. Then I'll follow this hotspot to the other node by holding down Alt or Option and clicking the hotspot. And then I'll add the return link. And here's the project after outputting to HTML5. This hotspot opens a website, and this one here opens the next panorama.